What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video. This one is going to be on my personal list of the top five defensive playbooks in Madden 19. I did a video on the top five offensive playbooks last week, so I figured it's time to do the defensive side of the ball. So getting right into it, at number five on my list is coming in with the Kansas City Chiefs. Now the Chiefs for the past few years have just been a very good playbook. Uh, they're a pretty standard 3-4 look, so you have your five standard 3-4 sets, odd, under, over, solid, and bare. Uh, but what sets them apart from a lot of other playbooks is having the nickel 3-3-5 formation. So a lot of playbooks only have stuff like 2-4-5 double A, 3-3-5 wide, and normal. Uh, not many playbooks have this nickel 3-3-5 formation. If you guys remember last year, that nickel 3-3-5 Tampa 2 was a nightmare. Uh, it was one of the more popular defenses all of last season, and it's still very good this year as well. Uh, just the formation itself is set up for success. Um, they have some unique plays in here. A three double buzz is a very unique look with the middle linebacker dropping into a deep third. Uh, you can get very creative with that. And so year in, year out, 3-3-5 normal is just generally a good defensive formation. Uh, the rest of the playbook is pretty standard for 3-4 books. So they have the big nickel over G, which is included in every playbook in the game this year, I believe. They have big dime, 2-3-6 and 1-4-6. So, you know, 1-4-6, kind of the 3-4 version of dollar. A lot of 3-4 base books will have the big dime 1-4-6 as opposed to dollar, only with a few exceptions. And so that's something you'll see in pretty much every 3-4 base book. And then the normal quarter formations, 1-3-7, and three deep so a pretty standard three four look three four once again very good this year but what sets this book apart from a lot of other three four books is that nickel three three five formation all right coming in at number four on my list is going to be just the generic multiple d playbook and really this one comes in on my list because of the options that it gives you you have four three three four five two nickel big nickel dime dollar and quarter so you have a lot to work with uh, it's mainly like a base 4-3 in terms of the additional formations other you know than their 4-3 looks um nickel normal and 3-3-5 wide and then dime dollar is stuff that you'll generally see in 4-3 based books but then they also have the addition of 3-4 both odd and solid and the 5-2 formation so they have some unique stuff a lot of uh like i said options they also have the 4-3 odd formation which is not found in any team playbook i believe the only two books it's found in is in both the multiple d and the 4-3 based books. So those are both generic books uh, that you won't see from any team. And this is a formation that it looks a lot like 3-4 odd as you can see. They have some pretty unique stuff. They do have a crossfire blitz in here. So you could get pretty unique with, uh, you know, having a 4-3 personnel and, and, you know, getting after the quarterback here with some exotic blitzes out of a look that generally looks like 3-4. So you can definitely get creative with that, but this book mainly comes in at number four just because of the diversity and the amount of options it gives you. Uh, when, you know, just in terms of calling a defense, you can throw a lot of different looks at your opponent. Very, very versatile, and you can basically just keep mixing it up the entire game. So that's why it comes in at number four on my list. At number three on my list, it's going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars defensive playbook. The first base 4-3 book on this list. And really, the main reason is because of this 4-6 normal formation. A lot of people like to use this playbook because of this look. Um, you know, 4-6 normal is just very good. It's been good for as long as I can remember. It's kind of had a resurgence over the past couple years. Uh, but a lot of people have been running stuff like cover 3, cover 2 invert out of here, fire zone 3. Uh, you can get creative and get some like looping pressure, looping 3-man blitzes and stuff like that. So it's just a very balanced look. You get a really nice pass rush out of this formation for some reason. Uh, whenever you know those defensive ends get isolated on those offensive tackles, this formation just you just get sheds and get a really nice pass rush after the quarterback. So a lot of people like to run this formation because of those reasons. But on top of that, you also have your base 4-3 stuff. So 4-3 is still pretty good this year. Under, over, even over plus, wide nine. Pretty much every formation has a use case uh, that you could justify using it. Um, nickel, they have the standard kind of 4-3 nickel sets, wide 9, double A, and then normal. A uh, double A is pretty much the same thing as 2-4-5 double A. It's just the 4-3 version of it. Big nickel, like I talked about, dime, dollar, and quarter. So your standard 4-3 book with the addition of the 4-6 normal separates the Jaguars book from all the other base 4-3 books in the game, and that's why it comes in at number three on my list. 
So coming in as the runner up on my list is the New York Giants defensive playbook. Another base 3-4 book with your normal 3-4 formations odd under over. They do have 3-4 even rather than some other books will have something like 3-4 solid. So that's a little different. And then 3-4 bear. They have the 4-4 formation. Just like Kansas City, they also have the nickel 3-3-5 formation, which is pretty rare in the game, like I said. So that alone sets this book apart. But they also have the dollar 3-2-6 formation, which is very rare. So they have two really rare things that separate them from other books. One, they're a 3-4 based book with dollar 3-2-6. Last year, the only book in the game with that combination, I believe, was the Indianapolis Colts. So that's something you don't see a lot, and a lot of people prefer dollar 326 as opposed to big dime 146 it's kind of a preference thing but a lot of people do think dollar is better so that's something that sets them apart and then having the nickel 335 formation also so just two really rare occurrences in one playbook uh, really vaulted them up the tier list this year uh, those are both new additions i believe uh, this year to the giants playbook i know a lot of people weren't really using this book in years past and then they have the quarter normal quarter three deep standard stuff so that it's just a very diverse playbook you can see they have a lot of different formations even the 4-4 is pretty rare so you can even tack that on to to add to the third bonus thing so you have dollar three three five and four four uh, which is pretty unique and then you have your three four sets which three four once again this year is very very good again so for all of those reasons combined uh, that's why the giants come in at number two on my list and they could easily be number one in a lot of other people's lists this is all pretty much personal opinion it's just how you like to play defense coming in at the top of my list and the playbook that i've been using so far in mad 19 is gonna be the detroit lions defensive playbook now i will say this with a little caveat that i think the patriots playbook could also be in this spot so it's almost like a joint number one between lions patriots I didn't want to also include the Patriots on the list because they're pretty much the same book with very, very minor differences. So I'm going to kind of combine them. But personally, I think the Lions is better. But the reason they're so good is they have the standard stuff that you've seen from the Patriots book in years past with the 3-4 and 4-3 mixture. They have the nickel 3-3-5 odd formation coming back from last year. Last year, it was only in the New England Patriots playbook. Now it's both in the Patriots and Lions playbook because of Matt Patricia uh, moving over to the Lions. They have the big nickel, which is in every playbook, dime, and dollar. So dollar is what really sets them apart from the Patriots book. The Patriots do not have dollar. They have big dime 146. And so that's why it kind of comes down to personal preference. That's the main difference. The other difference is that the Patriots don't have normal dime. Uh, and the Lions do. Now, not many people run normal dimes, so that might not be a deal breaker for a lot of people, but a lot of people do prefer one or the other when it comes to either $3.326 or Big Dime 146. One isn't right or wrong. Personally, I prefer $3.326, so I run the Lions playbook. Uh, a lot of other people might prefer Big Dime, so they would be more comfortable in the Patriots book. So that's why it's kind of a joint number one it's kind of 1A and 1B for me between Lions and Patriots this year, mainly because of the diversity, the mixture of 3-4-4-3, the 3-3-5 odd formation, which is very rare like I talked about, and then it just kind of comes down to taste. Do you want dollar or do you want big dime 146? So that is going to round out my top five defensive playbooks of the year so far in Madden 19. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.